Hi everybody, this video is called How to Make a Quantum Leap. And the first time that I made a quantum leap was the first time that I quadrupled my income. And I didn't realize that that's what I was doing at the time. I didn't understand that it was a quantum leap. So when I tried to replicate this and quadruple my income again, it didn't give the same results. And that's because anything, anytime you achieve something on accident, it will eventually destroy itself. This is a universal law. But now I know the trick. I'm about to use it in my business. You're about to see me blow the fuck up. And I figured instead of watching this wave go, why don't you be a part of it. So please like, subscribe, but most of all, do something with this video. Pause the video when it's time to pause, do the work, and, and let's make this your time. Let's make this our time. Let's, uh, let's not make it just me time here, okay? So to use an analogy from a book I read recently called U Squared, a little fly is sitting in the window banging itself against the window pane, trying harder and harder and harder to break itself free and get out. And this is a metaphor for what you are trying to do right now. You are likely trying to get out of the current conditions that you are stuck in by just working harder and harder and harder. And that fly is going to die right there on a windowsill because no matter how much it tries to break through to the outside, world through the window, it's just not going to happen. No matter how much harder he tries, no matter how much he prays for strength to keep trying harder, it's not going to work. But if that fly would have just taken a step back, given up altogether on that window pane, he would have been able to fly out an open door, which was just 10 feet in the opposite direction. So there are so many options that are available to you that you are not using simply because you are really, really stuck on this one thing. To give you an example from my life, I was really, really stuck on the window pane of I'm gonna spend 25 grand on advertising, it's gonna relate to these types of results and I'm gonna see a big success. Well, after fucking weeks and weeks of, and months, literally, of educating myself on how Facebook and YouTube ads work before eventually giving up, hiring, ads managers only to find out that my Facebook account is completely blocked from advertising because I'm just too controversial and that hiring YouTube ads managers on Fiverr is really not a good idea. My guy literally didn't even like look at my account. He just like set the ad to run, wasn't monitoring anything and I just lost $2,500 right down the hole. Now this whole time I could have taken a step back, released my plan to keep doing basically the same thing that I've done into business up until this point. Um, but I get very persistent. I get very stuck on things. The longer you've had success doing things a certain way, the less likely you are to put it down and try something new. So the first step in making a quantum leap is to identify wherever it feels like your tires are spinning out, wherever you're feeling your, to use a human design term, your not self theme. For me, it's frustration. It might be bitterness for you. It might be anger for you, but where are you feeling this over and over again? And what is the metaphorical window pane here? What agenda are you very set on pushing through because you're just convinced that in order to make a quantum leap, in order to go to that level that you're trying to get at, you're gonna have to work slowly and incrementally to get there. I, this video is not titled How to Make a Quantum Step. This is how to make a quantum leap, how to quadruple something, not double something, how to go above and beyond what you thought was possible. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is surrender this formula that you're certain is gonna have to be laid down in order for you to get the results you want. And heads up, you can surrender early. You don't have to wait until it's literally ripped from your hands like it was for me. But I had some unresolved trauma running the show, some major control issues running the show. And so unfortunately, my pattern of not surrendering until it's literally ripped from my hand and then being butthurt and sullen about it was going on and on and on and on. So if it's possible for you to see, wow, here's this strategy that I'm doing over and over and over again, work double the time, make double the money, work harder, keep trying the same thing over and over, but with more budget behind it. If you can identify what this is for you and put it down without it having to be such a fight, you will make your quantum leap much sooner. All right, let's go to the next one. And just a little heads up on that. Surrender feels like giving up. It feels like totally and completely giving up. You say, how could I 
surrender this. When I was with my son's teeth, I just didn't feel it. But how could I give up on my son's teeth? Because until you give up, God cannot work through you. So your grubby little hands are on the wheel and your plan is in the way of God's plan. And sometimes you need to accept that no matter how much you are trying to change this, it will not change because it's here for you to grow in a new way. So how do you know if it's time for you to surrender? Well, have you been trying and trying and trying to force it? And no matter what you do, it's not improving. It keeps getting worse. It's time to give up. No matter how much harder you try, it's still not going to work. Now, what you want is going to come to you, but not in the way that you think it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you via a leap and not via a step. So in order to make your quantum leap, there is a step that you've had, a dream that you've had this whole time that you're procrastinating on taking action towards. So for me, my long-term goal for a long time was to teach my, my teacher training, which is amazing and enrolling very soon, um, my teacher training, which I usually run as a 10-week course where I teach people how to heal other people using this method. And it's always been a teacher training and it's always been staggered in that way so that people could really learn the technology, most specifically so that they could help other people um, using the same tools because they're really powerful and really valuable valuable tools. But what I had always wanted to do was teach it like a Tony Robbins thing where it's like, let's do all of this in a day. Let's whoosh, completely remove every single one of the blocks that you are aware of and also unaware of. Let's get it all out in one day. Then let's literally induce a Kundalini awakening on you now that there's no blocks that it can get stuck in and create psychosis for you. Let's literally raise that creative energy all the way up this newly cleared channel and send you out into the world limitless, cleared and limitless. This has always been the goal, but there were so many, you know, it's like, oh, you know, the kids aren't old enough for me to do that yet. Or maybe I need to wait until I have a perfect venue. And so there's a lot of procrastinating. There was a lot of me saying, you know, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. But my quantum leap involves taking a leap towards what I've been wanting to do without thinking about all the little steps it's going to take to get there. And it involves taking a leap, like doing something before you're ready to do it. Something that feels daring and scary and like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to do this, but you know what? I want to grow in leaps and not steps. So I'm going to take a huge step towards it and trust that I will be caught and trust that it's gonna work out. So this is the first time I'm gonna run one beta group, that's it, because I've already done a similar thing in Austin, but I just need one beta group to make sure that I have the timing right on it before I hire a venue, because if it needs to be a two-day thing, it'll be a two-day thing, but if I can get it in one day, I'm only gonna know if I actually do it with people, no matter how much I speculate, I'll never be able to get that timing exactly. I need to do it with people. People. So the first step I thought was going to be going and hiring a venue, but actually that was just the leap saying, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to quit saying, oh, it's got to be later. It's got to be better. Everything's going to be perfect. And just be like, no, you know what? This is the year that I'm going to do this. I am ready. Even if it doesn't succeed, I am ready to be living my dream right now. Therefore, I'm not going to worry about all the different steps I got to take to get there. I'm just going to take action towards it. And even if that seems like, oh my God, like the, the fool card of the tarot where you're, you know, jumping off it, where you're taking a step and you might fall off the cliff. The next step always presents itself. So if you've been watching for Wheels Reinvented for a long time and you're like, oh my God, this sounds perfect. I want to be on that beta group. Definitely send me an email, onami at onamihouse.com and because uh, it's going to be lit. And there's always beta pricing when you're on that first round. So ding, 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 ding. But when it comes to a quantum leap, it's an idea that you already have. It's a dream you already have. You've just been like lollygagging about getting around it and filling your time with all of these bullshit activities that are just making you work harder, that are not working smarter, that are thinking, oh, you know, slow incremental steps to success, as opposed to being willing to radically transform yourself, go zero to a hundred, go all in as risky as that is, 
and up level in a very, very short amount of time. So I want you to pause the video right now and think about what that persistent nagging dream that you've had for a long time is. I'm going to do this. It's going to look like this one day when I'm ready, one day when, when I have the finances. And I want you to just decide that you are going to go forward with this right now, that you are going to go forward with this right now. Now, if you don't have any idea about what you want to be doing, what your life purpose is, what you're here to accomplish on this earth, send me an email, onami at onamihouse.com, and I'll send you some free resources because I have an entire career full of free resources and I can get them to you for sure. So here's all these things that you're going to have to put down. Your disbelief is going to have to go. Your reason and logic is also going to have to go. You are making a quantum leap. The word quantum alone is telling you that we're not working with a step-by-step -step formulaic approach where you get to know every little rung on the ladder that you're going to take to get there. It means that you have the end goal in mind. You know that there are unseen forces. You just haven't tapped them yet. And you are willing to take leaps toward them and not steps. But the disbelief has got to go. The logical thinking has got to go. And these are all things that you need to put up on your altar, metaphorical or in real life and say, God, please help me. Please take away this disbelief. Please take away this like hardcore conviction I have that it's got to be hard, that it's got to take a long time, that I've got to do it this way. And if there's anything holding me back, please remove these limiting thoughts from my head and show me a path of possibility that I never imagined before. Please remove these limiting doubts from my head and show me a path that I have never seen before. Put your hand on your heart, baby. Right now, do put your hand on your heart with me. It's my time and I'm ready for the next step. Please show me the way. It's my time. I'm ready for the next step. Please show me the way. Now, I also will recommend getting rid of temporarily or permanently, see if you actually miss them, but all of the people in your life that like to reality, reality check you. Like, please resist the urge to make your mom the first person you call on this and say, guess what? I'm going to do this big thing. No, just keep it to yourself. You can do this, but it's time to put your head down and work. It's time to put your head down and work. And everything that comes out of your mouth should be faith related and not fear related. So what if you were about to, you know, you're okay, I really want to say something faith related, but fear is coming out. Turn that fear into faith. If you have fear that something is not going to succeed, then you need to speak so much faith because a belief is a thought that you keep thinking but when you share an idea, it gets stronger. So something will become a belief a lot faster if you share it out loud or you share it writing it down or you share it with your audience. This is a great place to share these ideas. You know why? It's called seed launching and they will likely buy your product when they've heard you talking about it for so long. But all of the people in your life that like to reality check you and say, maybe this isn't gonna happen like this or there's a recession coming up, all of that is bullshit. All of that needs to be suspended. All of that needs to be put on the back burner if you're planning on making a quantum leap. Do not expect people who are masters of the reality check of the 3D realm to understand a 4D or a 5D leap, okay? They are not experts in quantum thinking. Therefore, their opinion is irrelevant at this time. So don't waste your time seeking the approval of others right now. This is between you and God. And the customer comes in like clockwork every time the relationship with you and God is rock solid. If you've got some weirdness about the word God, send me an email, onami at onamihouse.com. I will send you some resources because I have a lot of resources for things like this. So here's one of the last steps on making a quantum leap. You are perpetually moving forward. Like you are moving forward like a wheel. You are going forward in this. But what you need to focus on is the end result more so than the means of how it is that you're gonna get there. So what is the end result that you want? Get crystal clear, pause right now. What, or well, pause after you hear me say <laughs> What is the specific goal that you want to achieve? What is the specific goal that you want to achieve? For me, I want to be in my dream house sooner than later. I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like when I get there. And I know just about how much money it's going to cost me, which means that without the ads that I was certain were going to get me there, it means that some miracles are going to take place. Now, if I focus on, oh, exactly how is this going to work? No. 
but I know that it's going to work because when I say I'm going to do something and I keep showing up persistently, I do not give up. I keep showing up. This is not wrapping my head against the same glass window at a tired old trick. This is me using my inspiration and my energy forging ahead in a new territory that I've always wanted to go into. I've just been scared and lazy before. It's a different set of tools. It tastes different. It feels different. It's not you hammering away at the same old thing over and over. It's boldly taking a leap into a new direction and saying, I'm going to do this right now. I'm not going to wait to do this. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to make this happen right now. And it is going to change so many lives. And I'm going to be telling a new story very, very soon about how success find me, how success has found me. And it's going to inspire so many people around the world. And the ripple of the effect, the ripple effect of this healing is never going to end. Everybody that gets close to my product is going to be positively changed by it. Everybody that walks into this room is going to walk out transformed. Everybody that even gets a sniff of what it is that I'm doing here will be changed just by that far away contact with it. You are here doing God's work, so you better walk into this room and walk into this day like God sent you here, because it did, all right? But it's time to focus on the end result and not the how am I gonna get there, how am I gonna get there? Anybody that's ever swam long distances, anybody that's ever run long distances knows you keep your vision ahead and it eventually, you eventually get there. But if you're looking down at your feet, you're not breathing, you're stressing out, you're not in the right posture, and you will not get there. It's only going to feel like individual steps. You're making a leap. When you have your eyes on the goal, you eventually go into a trance and all of a sudden, you're there. We are bending the space-time continuum to suit your goal. You can do this, but it's a lot more about the things that you're willing to put down. For example, your addiction to the approval at every step of the process and your addiction to the step-by-step -step process. Look from the outside and say, I am going to be in this place at this time and nothing can stop me. Every day, show up and pray, please, it's my time. I'm ready for the next step. Please show me the way. What is the step that I need to accomplish today? And get it done. You are going to be super tempted to return to the old patterns, to keep hammering away at that same window pane. Do not forget this story of the fly. That fly is going to die trying in that windowsill. And not that he wasn't determined. He was fucking too determined on the old path. You need to think in a bigger way. Now it's time to access your gifts. What is it that you've always been good at? What is it that you've always been passionate about? What have people always told you about yourself? Something I've always been good at is selling. So I am here to sell. You know why? If your work is spiritual and you don't think your sales are spiritual, honey, your work is never going to get in front of anybody. Your sales are so spiritual. Because without them, nobody gets exposed to your work. There are plenty of really talented artists who never let anybody into their studio. And you know what? That is the most egotistical, self-absorbed way that you can be. Congratulations. God gave you a gift and you're only using it to jerk off your own ego. You're basically saying, I, my work is too good for the world, not it's too bad for the world. You know what? It's not your darkness that you're afraid of. It's your light. It's your talent. It's your capability. It's who you're going to grow up into. It's who you're going to leave behind that you're afraid of. But when you go, look, when you do Wheels Reinvented, you'll know this. When you go looking in that darkness, expecting to find some sick, fucked up person that nobody's ever going to love, you don't find that. You find some sick, fucked up lie that's been running your life this whole entire time because you've never known where it was coming from or where to look to go unplug that so you can see a little truth about yourself. And when you share truth with the world, honey, the entire world bows to your will. And I mean like pronto. So what have you always been good at? What have you always loved? Something that I've always loved is talking. I can talk, talk, talk all day. I've also also always loved writing. And I've always loved helping people in a really tangible way. Like have somebody going, 
wow, I really never thought of it like that. And then the next time I see them, they say, I applied what it is that you told me and everything is starting to improve. So in my life, I've always looked for systems, complicated systems, found a way to simplify them and then get them to the masses as easily as possible. This is what I love to do. This is what I've always loved to do. It's what I'm really good at. And these are the gifts that I need to make my quantum leap happen. So when I think about, okay, this is the goal that I have and these are the gifts that I have, I don't need to know the step-by-step -step plan. I just need to show up every day, shine my little gifts around and watch the world bend to my will. Ta-da! Okay, now it's time to fall in love with your vision. To start to, so think about what it's like when you're in love with somebody. You can't stop thinking about them. You wanna to talk to everybody about it. You could stay up all night talking. You're not hungry like you used to be. You're passionate about everything. You've entered the erotic world where like every moment is beautiful. Every song is special. You wanna share every single thing about the day with them because where days used to be so drab and boring because because there wasn't a lover to share it with, all of a sudden there is, and you, and you wanna share everything with them. So everything that comes up with the day, share it with your vision, become so passionate, so in love with this vision. For me, this beautiful home, I'm finally gonna be back in my home, I'm finally gonna be able to see my great, great, great work come forward because when my roots are solid and my day is like all revolved around creativity and seeing what comes forward, like I'm literally unstoppable. And to, and, but much more so, I was like, okay, why is this starting to feel a little thin? Falling in love is never, when you're in love, you're always thinking about the other person, right? You're not thinking, oh, I'm so in love with my life because they're here. You're saying, I'm so in love with them because they're here. So when I think about the house I want, like, yeah, I love that vision. But when I think about the lives that I'm gonna change, like much more important to me than any vision of the house is this vision of doing these huge scale events, like Tony Robbins' huge scale events where just crowds and crowds of people leave going like, I can do it, like I feel different, I'm a new person, I can do it, I'm ca I can do this, I can do this. I am not stuck in the same miserable life anymore, living the same variation of the same day over and over. I can do whatever I want. I can be whoever I want. I can, I have let the past go. It's not, I'm not carrying around my past with me everywhere I go all the time. I'm not waking up and the first thing I think about is my past. I am a new person. I am a free person and the whole world has opened itself up to me. That's what I'm in love with. That's what I'm in love with. So when you're falling in love with your vision and you're having a hard time feeling like mm, about it, maybe you're only thinking of the you part of it. This was really my problem in the last years. Maybe you're only thinking about the you part of it. This amount of money I wanna make, this amount of things I wanna do, this kind of thing I wanna have, like all the be, do, have parts of it. But if you think about the other part of it, the problem you're solving, all of the people you're gonna serve, this is really, because when you take the quantum leap, you have to jump and then God reaches back and pulls you that last little bit pulls you that last little bit. It's literally spiritual law. I have it tattooed on my hand. This does not fail. It does not break. It does not discriminate. It works for everybody provided that you follow the steps. But in order to really be in love with that vision and be able to jump timelines and be able to go into that new world, you have to be in love with the humanity side of the equation. So how does your dream serve everybody that it touches? How does your dream serve everybody that it touches? How does taking this step towards creating your dream positively uplift? Not this step towards creating your dream, this leap towards creating your dream. Not saying, okay, well, I have to start a cleaning business and take up all these little steps first and then get enough money to do this. It's like, no, now I'm ready. And I will apply my gifts to every single day until I am in the space that I know I can be without worrying of how I got there. I'm telling you, when you wake up in that new life, you're gonna be like, how did I get here? Because you got there from a quantum leap, because you and God collaborated to make something that served all of the universe. So let's recap a little bit. First thing that you have to do is surrender whatever fucking thing you're hammering away at. It's not fucking working. 
It hasn't been working. You're still trying to make it work. It's not meant to work anymore. It worked the first time accidentally. You have a bigger destiny. If you book out all your time trying to do the same fucking project that you're doing, you're not gonna fulfill your destiny. You're gonna be an old fuck who regrets the way that they spent their whole entire life. Take the leap now, put it down, step back and ask to be shown the, new, the next step. Get rid of all the disbelief, get rid of all the logical thinking, get rid of, it's gonna be a whole new set of risks. There's no way that you can predict what's gonna be asked of you. There's no way that you can predict how you're gonna get there. But if you know that you're gonna get there, they say in A Course in Miracles, those assured of the outcome can wait without anxiety. So how do you become assured of the outcome? Speak that truth, honey. You feel that fear, go speak that truth. Speak that truth to anybody. Go to the grocery store, walk around smiling at people. And when people ask you what you're so fucking happy about, tell them, I am making a quantum leap. I am moving forward in my life. I just realized that I don't have to stay stuck in the same situation that I've been miserable in for so long. There's nothing wrong with me. I have gifts and God has promised to bless me for them. So I'm taking action and I feel great. How are you? <laughs> Stop calling the people that are reality checking you. You can't ask a blind person to proofread your vision. You can't ask directions from somebody that's never been there. Surround yourself with thoughts and people and things that uplift you. And if you don't have any of this in your real life, then surround yourself with it on the internet. Become the kind of person that's unshakable. Become so obsessed with the end result that it just doesn't matter anymore what anybody else thinks about it. And finally, fall in love with that vision. Fall in love with that vision. Fall in love with that vision. But in order to fall in love with it, you need to think about more people in that vision than just you and just you and your immediate family. The combination of your dream and your gifts is something, the, the world needs what you have. The world has always needed what you have. This is why you've been stuck so that hopefully you get frustrated enough or angry enough or bitter enough to actually do something with it. And now it's time for you to do something with it. So stand on your feet, get a nice proud stance, make your belly tight, put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time right now, right now. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time right now, this moment, not later. This is my time and I'm ready for the next step. I'm ready for the next step right now. Please show me the way. Good job. I'll see you for the next video.